with another dope legendary car for you man you know when i speak a million speak when i speak a billion tweet and today we're about to share this video a billion times man so we as long god is good life always gonna be good so with that being said you guys i have a beautiful car for you which is the porsche panamera 4 hatchback this is the e hybrid and today i'm going to review it Before we dive any further in this video, I want to give a big shout out to Auto Show for always opening their door to us when it's time for us to use one of their vehicles to do a video. This car is from Auto Show and I want to give a big shout out to Vlad and I want to say you guys, if you are looking for a porch and you're in the South Florida area to be more specific in Broward, don't hesitate to check Auto Show, which I'm going to leave the link of their, uh, of their website in my description box below. Check it out and I also leave the link for this car because this car actually, the MSRP when it was brand new, was about $120,000. But right now it is running around $60,000, $70,000. So you guys, you could not find a better deal than this. And this car only have 6,000 miles in it. That's pretty much brand new. But anyhow, this is not what we quietly there for. We here actually solve some issues or questions that you may have in your head. Some weird things, some twerking features about the Porsche that you didn't know about. And today we're gonna cover a few things in this video and also tell you how many horsepower this car can provide even though the uh, uh owner whoever that's going to own this car nine out of ten they're not going to really use it for racing but also if you have that horsepower in your car that's definitely going to help you while you're actually cruising in your car feeling so luxury and you also have that muscle with that being said you guys we're going to dive right into this video as we only dive into this video let's let me show you exactly what are the things that I actually like and I uh, admire about Porsche and for you know taking the time to actually put these things in the car besides the so many horsepower the car can provide you. So when we're looking across this bumper, we see we have some sensors in the front to help you with the safeties as far as when you're parking up your car. And we have some LED, some beautiful lights. You guys, I really admire the way they designed those lights. And I, I, I really like that. When we look at the bottom, we have some vents uh, so functional vents that will actually help with cooling off the car. So when we look across from here, we have some uh, reflection um, lights to help, you know, with you know, with the signaling when you turn it. Would actually show that they're turning with this here and the headlights also. When we look across, you guys, we have some massive rotors, and I like the fact they put that lime green in the rotors. This is amazing. I really, really love that. That's actually a manufactured belt because it's already come with the car the way it is. And we have some massive tires. Uh, the size um, is 275, 35, 21, you guys. This is huge. And we have also a little mini vent on the side, which is actually functional and we have the e-hybrid like i told you guys this is a hybrid and when we look across we have the keyless entry so one of the things that i want to point out to you guys when it's time or when you're looking at a porsche you have not seen a car with two gas uh, uh cover the, the 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 cover the tank cover when we look on this side here we have a cover and when we look across on the other side we have another tank cover you might be wondering why do we have two tank cover why is it for well like i was just telling you guys this car is an e-hybrid it runs on, on on battery electrical and also gas so if you want to charge up your car you just press this button here and you have the option to plug your car to charge it up and it will show you when it's full when it's empty you have a pretty you know self-explanatory uh details as far as you know when the car is only powered up and also if you want to pop your guys gas tank you only open the door and you press this button here which is for the tank you pop it open okay so by the time you walk across boom it opens up one of the things that i want to point out to you guys when you press the button it don't necessarily pop open i'm guessing they're probably timing by the time you walk around the car to come on the other side for the tank cover to pop i'm not quite sure there's a sensor for it you guys if you know it's a sensor or they just put a time to it leave it in the comment box below let me know you guys what you think but this is for you to put the gas tell me if i'm if it's, if it's me that's crazy or this is the way it is um we have two tank cover one cover for the electrical and one is for the gas so when we look across we're showing you all around you guys this is a pretty big car a very nice car so when we look guys you know the back is a signature uh, design for 
the uh, Porsche. So when we look, you see this is real nice in design. So perfect, so neat. But this is a spoiler, you guys. Once you press the button, this actually goes all the way up. Well, opens up to give you that cool look, that sport look also. And when we're looking at the tail light, this is a well-designed tail light. I love the way the back of the Porsche look like. And when we look at the bottom, so we see we have the sensors again, the backup sensors uh, to help you with the backing up and also a backup camera. Of course, if you have a Porsche and don't have a backup camera, I don't know, why would you have a car like that? But we have, you know, um, uh, some pretty uh, massive exhaust tips. Um, and, you guys let me know what you think tell me if this car don't look sexy leave it in the comment box below you guys let's have a little conversation Let's see how much trunk space do we have and by the way you guys you can just open your trunk with the key this is a very nice sexy key this kind of give me a remind me of the tesla key i actually shape it like the you know the car itself as you can see i'm pretty sure you guys you you, 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 you can tell man you can tell but anyway you guys you have a pretty massive trunk space you know uh, this is very decent you can put you know a couple of speakers in the back with your you know luggage or whatever but you know it all depends on what you're going to put in there but anyway anyhow everything somebody so this is the trunk for the uh porsche so let's see what we have on the link all right so as you can see these are the wires for the battery well you guys we don't want to mess around with that but anyway uh okay i'm not sure why you put this where somebody can find it well i guess if something goes wrong so you could just you know come in the back and fix it but anyway you guys this is exactly where the battery uh connection actually situated or where you can find it but this door also you can either close it with the key or with the buttons press this button here and boom you can use the key you lock the trunk boom trunk closed so now guys it's time for me to show you what we have underneath this engine what we have underneath the engine Ooh! you guys now we have the hood popped open man we're about to show you guys what we got to work with as far as the torque and the horsepower the car can actually provide you man this is amazing man even though this is a 2018 but you still have a pretty big amount of horsepower and torque power for this car man i can tell you that i didn't really think that i would love porch as much i feel like every time i film a car or actually review a car i ended up falling in love with the car so i feel like if I'm gonna buy me cars, probably gonna buy me every car that I actually film. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a house that's gonna be big enough to actually put all those vehicles in there. But anyhow, you guys, let me talk to you. Let me tell you guys, let me show you guys, or let's talk about how many horsepower this car can actually provide. All right, you guys, when we look, the first thing that we see, we see that lime green again all around the uh, engine or the little emblem on the engine. So that's just to show you that this car, it's a hybrid. As you can see, they don't hesitate to put the hybrid sign on top of the logo. So as we can see, this is a 2.9 liter engine V6 with an eight speed automatic transmission. This car is an all wheel drive and it can actually provide you 462 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 516 torque power at 4,500 RPM. And this car is actually can, the top speed is 190. So this car is actually can go pretty fast. I'm not quite sure the person that's gonna own this car, if they're gonna own it because they wanna race it because this car is really not about racing, it's about how you can cruise and feel luxury but it's always good to have the horsepower if you feel like you want to kick in somebody want to pass on the highway you say you know what i gotta show you guys that i don't own the part for nothing but anyway you guys this is a pretty uh a fast car for 2018 i'm pretty sure the newer one even more faster so like i said again earlier msrp price the tag price for that car was one hundred and twenty thousand dollars when it came out brand new but right now this car costs about like seventy thousand dollars and like i said again auto show selling this car for about that price so if you actually guys are looking for one check the link in the description box below you guys you will find yourself a deal so let's go inside you guys so we can talk about some more interesting things that you probably like as much as i do in the porsche right, let's talk about the option that you have on the side of the door the first thing that we notice when we actually open going in the car we see that beautiful design on the side here you never see a button here but for some reason Porsche make it you know easier for you to spot it you can press this button here to pop the, the the gas tank or you can press this button to open or close the trunk and when we look here we have the seat memory so where we can actually sit our seats the way we like it to be and also this button here for you to unlock it or unlock the car unlock and lock it and and they put that in there so i guess you guys cannot forget what type of car that you're actually working with so when we see we have um 
electrical seat, you know, power seats so where you can actually move your seat up and down and lean it back and forth. And you know that Porsche don't hesitate putting their logo on their seat. So this is actually engraved in the seats. I'm not sure, but it's like a, a stamp. They just <clears throat> put it in there. But anyway, you guys, let's sit inside because my back is whew, it's kidding me. Huh? Woo! This is very nice. One thing that I actually notice is when I get inside, it's so quiet inside, you know? Like you can't, can you guys hear the noise outside? The noise outside? It's pretty quiet. Cause I know Kia, the K900, actually good. Well, they built the car. That's one of the feature of convenient that they have in it. It's very quiet once you, once you get inside. By the time you put your little music, it's not, I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, guys, let's talk about some features inside this car, man. So the one thing that I want to bring to your attention is once you have the key inside the vehicle, there's no button here, you guys, for start for you to start the car. There's no startup button or indication that this is what you need to pl to click in order for you to start the car. Well, I guess Porsche trying to make this unique. Once you own a Porsche, you got to know how to start a car. So now they have the button all the way on the other side where once you turn this, boom, the car is on. You just got to watch for the front that says ready. So sometimes it start with the, you know, battery or sometimes sometimes start with the, you know, a uh, 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 gas. So you probably going to hear the engine every once in a while. But hey, guys, take a look on the inside, man. This is amazing. So there's a lot of things you guys to talk about. I'm not going to take the time to talk about every single details, but I'm going to point out the things that I think that's very interesting into the Porsche. You know, so I, I think, you know, I, I really like the, when the car comes with a lot of convenience and, you know, features to make me feel, you know, safe and also make this car worth almost $100,000 right now today. This car actually used to are uh, worth 120,000 but no longer because this is a 2018. But for 2018 you guys, this car is super clean, super nice and like I said again, this car only have 6,000 miles. So let me just hush up for a minute man. I can got kind of show you guys all around man. All around. Ooh. This is beautiful. So what I want to bring to your attention, you guys, we have panoramic sunroof. So where we see all the top is glass. All the tap is glass. The way for you to close it, you know, you just, you know, you close this, you know, you press this button here to close the curtain. As you can see, the curtain is closing up right now. Okay. So you close up the curtains. In order for you to close the back one, you have a different button to close the back curtain. Okay. So you have two buttons here. This is for the front and this is for the back. Oh, well, yeah, front, rear. Anyhow, yeah, you get the idea what I'm trying to say. So I'm not quite sure, man. They make this, you know, like you in a, you know, a, a, a airplane or something because the parking uh, button in order for you to click the parking, you know, assistant if you want to use your sensors, they have the button all the way up there, but I usually have the button somewhere here, but I guess Porsche felt like, you know what? I want to bring it up there so they put it you know right up there you guys so you could press this in order for you to put you know the backup sensors on and off so when we look here again on the steering wheel you guys we have this little button here most of the mercedes have this button especially the s class s63 e63 so they usually have that button here so once you press this and you can switch to different drive mode so as when i put it on sport mode now this car is actually running on gas and as you can hear it let me see oh boy this is actually loud you guys and if we put it on spark plus boom more power even sound louder so we're going to go back and put it in the e power or the hybrid mode so we're just going to leave it on the hybrid so again if you don't if you don't like the hybrid option where you car going to turn on gas and turn on fuel I'm going to turn on fuel, turn on, you know, um, uh, the e-power the e mode. So you can actually set that up the way you want to. If you want to just drive it on sport mode, you leave it on sport mode. The car never going to go on and off uh, that 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 e-power mode. All right. So when we look across, you guys, we have a pretty, you know, a nice cream on the top and it's very responsive. We have the navigation. We have the media option. Let's look at how the navigation screen look like. This is really, really wide, you guys. And we have the media option and we have the phone option where you can actually connect your phone and you have the car option. The car option is how you want to set up the car. You can either use this button or you use a screen to type the different options. As you can hear this, when I put it on Spark mode, you can hear the engine went, Jesus, crazy. When I put it on hybrid, it turned off. When I put on eSport, 
Ooh, I'm in the sport. Jesus, that's amazing. Anyhow, you guys, once you press this button here, it's going to show you the real little radio on the side. You can click the screen again to get back on the, no on the normal mode. You can get rid of the screen. And when you spread, press this, the the you know the the, the shark you can put it on uh, uh, on on so on normal mode sport mode plus mode you could do it however way you want to you guys but let's leave it on the sport mode because we're not racing or anything like that so when we look a little further down here we have the app button so once we click the app button here and we have all the apps showing on the screen so again all of this is to help you find you know parking garage or a gas station and e-charging so e-charging is there's like an e-charging station where you can go and charge your car this once you click this button here and once you have the connection with you know with the porsche that come connect you know connect store you can actually use this without even using your phone again if you want to go to uh, the nearest airport you click this button i mean this is very 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 nice you guys i think i've seen a little bit more options like this and the teslas so one of the things that i actually notice is once when you, when you turn the car the ac on or turn the car on those vents actually open but when you turn it off they close so let me show you guys so as the car turned off right now the vents close once you turn the car back on the vents open up so ain't that cool you guys and also you have this little button here where you can actually navigate to the screen if you don't want to touch it or dirty your screen with your fingerprint you can use this little button knob here feels really cool to use it again you can either use the little um option that you have on the screen or you have the button here if you want to use it because nine out of ten will go out so you can actually use the button here and as you can see this little dual um uh ac so it's, it's pretty cool you have the little button here where you can increase the temperature or lower the temperature you can actually increase the the speed vent and you can lower it um and also you have heated seats heated mirror you guys i mean if i take time to talk about every little detail that you have here you're probably going to get tired of me talking but i'm just going to point out some cool things that this car comes with and when we look at here we have uh you know some uh little button here um that you can actually navigate to we can get to different screen navigation we can get to different things on the on the side so i mean this is pretty pretty nice you guys um i i, I really like that when we look on the other side again we see we have some digital um dashboard and we have the regular one on the top here um so have way you wanna you know you wanna set up your screen you're more than welcome to do so um and you have you know the the answering button here where you can hang up the calls or answer the call and what we notice you guys we have pattern shifter we have the pattern shifter here you guys if you are putting on a on a sport mode you can actually shift with your pattern shifter the way that you actually put it on you know or actually you can put it on the power shifter mode you just tap the shifter as you drive in and it's going to put it on the you know on the a manual mode so where you can actually shift with your pattern shifter right here this is the upper speed down speed here and when we're looking at the button here on the side we have the auto we have the high beams and you have the day running lights on and this is pretty you know pretty clean i really like that i didn't really think that porsche was as clean as it looked to me right now and you have two cup holders right here you guys and this is how you open you know your handrest so once you open this Ooh, you don't have that much space. I don't know why you why you would probably want to store your half of your closet in this, but I guess this is a pretty decent size. You have a little USB port. You have another car charging port right here, um, and you have an aux cable if you want to use aux. But I'm not quite sure why would you want to use aux because this comes with a Bluetooth. And let's let's see. All right, we have the owner manual here. And when we look across, you guys, this is really nice. And we have that each, but it's a timer, it's a clock. So where you actually have, you know, the, the display digital and you have the old classic uh, 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 look. So have a way you prefer to look at the time you are more than welcome to do so. You feel me? But anyway, you guys, let's jump in the back seat so we can see what we have in the back seat and how much legs room we have in the back seat. Because we know we usually do the sound system, the sound checking, but we're going to do that in just a second. But I feel like this car is going to be loud. But anyway, let's jump in the back seat so we can see exactly what we have in the back seat. Right, so when we're looking in the back, there's that much in the door to talk about so as we can find a way inside okay guys i just like the fact that it's pretty quiet inside you can meditate but anyway you guys yes yes, yes. let's let's get back on track let's get back on track uh when we look the way the seat design um the legs room is pretty decent right it's pretty decent is that is that worse is not the the worst because um 
uh, we have a pretty decent legs room here, right? It's not the most spacious, but it gets the job done. But you have some vents on the side, and also you have a little vents up there, and you can turn it off and turn it on if you like. And this is a four seater, you guys. You will not be able to put a fifth person in the back. Yeah, this car is a four seater, you guys, so it only can take four people. Um, and by the way, you guys, you can actually open your win uh, your window or your curtains from the back. You don't necessarily need somebody to open it up for you. If you want to, if you feel like you know getting some sun, you could just press this button here, palm, and you open the uh, uh, your 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 uh, shades. Um, but but the, the the glass would not open. It's just gonna open the, the the curtain, the shades. Once you press this button here again, you just close uh, the sunroof shades, so that way you don't you know you don't want the sun. You can charge your phone if you like, and you also can put your cups here. Um, but this is pretty nice. I guess I can't complain, you know. So um, uh, we have the same thing on the other side. What we notice is we have some Bose speakers. We know once we have Bose speakers, man, this car is gonna be pretty loud. There's not really much things in the back. You know, that is so interesting. We just have some handrests if you wanna use it. We have some more uh, compartment here where we can storage our belongings in the back, but it's not really much. Anyway, you guys, it's pretty clean. It's a very clean car, very nice. Um, but we would like to jump back in the front so we can actually check the sound system. Here. Now we are inside. We actually gonna do a sound check. We want to do a sound check. All right. So as we can see, we have a little button here. That's how you put the volume up. Okay. So well, I'm just gonna put it. I'm just gonna put it up. Whoa, 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 my friend, my friend, my friend. Oh my God, that was super loud. I don't know if you guys can see how loud it was, but this was super, super loud. Wow. Okay. But anyway, you guys, we're going to drive this car, man, so I can see how fun it is because I can tell how nice this car looks, but I want to see how fun it is, you know? So, um, um, uh, tell me what you guys think about this car. If you think, you know, the, 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 the Porsche actually worth the, you know, the seventy thousand dollars, seventy six thousand dollars is worth now. So, um, um, because this car two years ago, you know, worth one hundred and twenty thousand dollars, but now it's worth seventy thousand dollars. Just let me know what you think. But anyway, you guys, I want to do a video where I can talk about the most depreciated luxury car. If you guys are or uh, interested in that video, if you guys are in, uh, are interested, just let me know if you want me to do a video like this, so I can actually show you the most luxury car that depreciated the most you know the luxury car that depreciated the most so i want to do that video so mad so 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 much i'm itching to do that video but i want to make sure you guys um uh, you guys are interested in you know watching this video or you want to see which car that depreciated the most parts is one of them i want to talk about it you know so just let me know you guys what you think in the description box below so we're fun to drive this car let's go for a ride uh all right all right all right so let's see let's see let's see if we could just Hit this to see if zero to sixty. How fast is it? Man, man, man! You guys didn't see this. You guys didn't see this, man. But anyway, you guys, this car is a pretty fast car, man. Like I said again, I don't think anyone who would own this car would probably own it because they want to race it. I would say get you, man. Get you another car, man. Don't race this car. Don't please don't do this to this car. All right. All right. See, Bella, I hear you. I hear you, man. Jesus, let me get out of here first. All right. But anyway, guys, let me go enjoy my ride, man. I'll catch you guys back in the next video. Big shout out to all the show. With that being said, your boy. Ah,